Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Dr. Hisham Al Khatib, consultant audiologist at Prince Sultan Military Medical City. I will discuss here some basic on the normal chest X ray. Chest X ray will be taken in BA position and the patient is facing the X-ray cassette and it is away from the X-ray tube about 180 cm. With this position, the heart will be very close to the cassette and will be not magnified. And the X-ray it is coming from back to the anterior part of the chest X-ray to the body of the patient and we call this view a BA view. Here as you see this is just x-ray labeled with subine and this just x-ray labeled with erect position and you see the how much the lungs appear in the exposure in the expiratory film and how much lung it is more with inspiratory film. And the marker seen on the left side here and the marker also seen in the left side. So we should follow if the marker and the marker here and what the technician it is labeled subine or erect position. How to assist patient rotation in chest X-ray? Patient rotation, it is very important to know it because it will distort the thoracic anatomy and also will cause cardiomediastinal structure, lung bronchima, and bones appear more or less conspicuous and is the lead to overcalling pathology. Here, this is a selected portion of the part of the chest, and you see here the medial end of the clavicle on the left side, and the medial end of the clavicle on the right side here, and you see the spinal process. And we see, we measure the distance between the spinal process and the medial end of the clavicle on the left side, and medial end of the clavicle on the right side and with the spinal subosis. The distance should be equal. If it is equal, the patient is rotated. If it is rotated, if it is, this distance is increased, so this is the patient is rotation to that side, and this patient, if it is this one, it is increased, the patient is rotated to that side. So here you see patient rotation. With patient rotation, how we know that the patient is rotation? First, we measure the distance between the medial end of the clavicle and the spinal subosis. Second, we see there is increase in the blackness of the one of the hemithorax on the side which the patient is rotated. So. Let us take some one of the examples. Here, the medial end of the clavicle, medial end of the clavicle on the right side, and the spinal subosis. Distance A should be equal to distance B. If the patient is distance A, in this patient is the distance B is less than the distance A, and we, this patient is rotated to the left anterior oblique. Here, the distance B is la more, more than the distance A, and the patient is rotated to the right anterior oblique. In this, in this, the heart silhouette will be enlarged in the, if the patient is rotated to the right anterior oblique. And in this one, if the patient is rotated to the left anterior oblique, there is, will be de decrease in the size of the 
تعليق سلوت let us see one example here this is the medial end of the clavicle here and this is the this is the spinal cervosis and this is the median in the of the clavicle the patient is rotated to the right anterior oblique position and and you see the cardiac silhouette will be enlarged also if the patient rotated also the our technical it will be also changed will be changed it is dependent on the rotation some in this position it will be large in this position if this is the normal position and if the the rotation in this in a the our technical will be decrease in size here the patient is rotated and you see the the Spinous abuses, median into the clavicle, and the distance here it is increasing, and the patient is rotated with cardiac what would be enlarged. Also, incidental finding the patient has large soft tissue mass on the left side of the on the thoracic inlet, compressing the trachea and pushing it to the right side. Here we stop. We will stop and we'll continue how to interpret the chest X-ray in the second session. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.